Hey everybody, it's Eric. This is Glenda. We are DNA Manager and Board Games. And Glenda, what are we looking at tonight? We have the girl and the robot. <laughs> the card game. <laughs> she never does her homework, folks. I just want to read it right, make sure I got it right. <laughs> but it is the girl and the robot, the card game. The Kickstarter edition. Because we have that. Right? Yes, we do. Yes. Stay tuned. So, Glenda, the girl and the robot, the card game. This is the Kickstarter edition. Uh, we were contacted by this company a little while ago to do a uh, review and play the game and see what we thought of it. Uh, just so you guys see, there is a almost no difference. <laughs> I was thinking for some reason it was smaller, but... No, it's the same material. The it's box the itself box. isn't any different. Because this is the one that we got, and then to show our support, we went ahead and purchased the game. Oh. That and get some of the uh, exclusive cards that came with only the Kickstarter. Because, you know, we actually really enjoyed playing this game. What did we say about the feeling we got? Because we were saying something, I can't remember, distinctly when we were playing. That's I right. just had... <laughs> Maybe you should have gone and looked at the review. <laughs> Well, it's been a while we, we would play this, but I know we like it. So the girl and the roll, but this is a limited edition. This is actually based on a video game that the company makes. And it's a card game. I believe they're out of uh, Canada, if I remember correctly. Uh, if I'm wrong, you know, you correct me. But the rules are, aren't are very long. It's actually a pretty easy game to play. I know we enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. The one thing I wanted to see, which... He wants to compare it from Kickstarter to our demo copy. Because the one thing that we were saying... <sighs> yeah. The one thing we were asking when we were uh, demoing it was that the insert, they need to enlarge it a little bit for sleeve cards. Fit, fit, uh... But unfortunately it doesn't look like that got accomplished. Because I just tried to put sleeve cards in there, and they're about so as snug. So it's just really for non-sleeve cards. Yeah. Okay. Well, some people don't put sleeves on, but I know there's like you know it's kind of like a must for cards. Well, you want if you're gonna play the game a lot, you want to protect it, and you know sometimes like if you're taken to a game store. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, people yeah. are eating nachos, okay? They're they're eating chicken. Hot dogs. They got grease on their hands. They're Mustard. playing games. Yeah. Uh, drinks get spilled, all sorts of stuff happen. Mistakes happen. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, protect your cards. So first set of cards that we got. Got some action cards going on here. Ability point cards. And then some weapons. Weapons. It's not complete without the weapons. Never complete without weapons. That's the swords. Different kinds of swords. Basic swords. You got your demon Basic cards. Demon cards. Because I remember how these Her go sword. in the deck randomly and it causes things to happen with the deck itself. If I remember. Mm -hmm. I mean it's been a while since we played this. The demon effect. They do have a fit. You gotta watch out. <laughs> so Eric would need help. Without um, a knife, his bare hands cannot open it. Eric's getting frustrated it. with the plastic, so the plastic on this now one. Now he has to use a knife. And so as he opens it... I'm old, folks. I'm old. Okay. Alright, so... Now we've seen these abilities, so we can set those to the side. That's an exclusive. So you do have your rules. It's a one through four quick reference here, just for your rules. And you do have the order reminder card. Yes, I remember now. 
You have the girl, you have the robot, you have the evil queen, and you have the shadow robot. Hmm, shadow robot. So, more action cards. So, those are all the cards for the game. You have your four character cards, you have your action cards, you have your weapons, you have your demon cards, and you have your turn order cards. Okay. And then you have your ability points cards, which is a one to three. Cool. Cool. You also have your quick reference rules, and then you have the exclusive cards that came with the Kickstarter. You have an extra action card, two extra action cards, and an extra weapon. The Insignia's Cursed Hat, when played, place the weapon face down. After defeating a demon, you must destroy another weapon on the table if able. Ooh. Action. Yamata no orgy. I almost want to say it says no orgy, but it doesn't. No orichi. Mm -hmm. To play this card, you must also discard two cards, destroy two weapons on the table if able, gain two ability points this turn, draw two cards. Mm, and Colos and Susis? Susis? Choose a player. If they have more cards in hand than you, destroy one of their face up weapon or force them to discard two cards. Yeah, yeah. After playing this game, I know that all three of those are very. Colos and Susis. Heavy and fighting Sigma cards. Curse hat. Yamata no Orochi. There you go. So everybody, that is the girl and the robot. By the... If you want to see how it's played or you want to see what we thought of it, we did get a demo copy. So go back into our videos, do a search, and you can see it played. You can see what we thought of it. And we probably already did an unboxing for it, but what the heck, this is the Kickstarter edition, so we're doing it again. Blind Carpet Games. As always, support your local gaming. We support Discover Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, everybody. Game on.